your girl, Raz Reptile. All right, YouTube, let's talk. So as y'all know, I'm building my red tail bowway enclosure. And what we about to do right now, we about to frame everything out. But first, we gonna have to trace around this glass so I can sit the glass directly in the middle. Cause I know, I know I did a lot of research and I asked a couple people that I knew about wood and heat. And everybody pretty much said the same thing that wood can pretty much handle a lot of heat up to like 300 and something degrees. All right, cool. Maybe it'll even less on some occasions if it's still enough. But I ain't trying to run into any of those problems. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this, this glass into the plywood itself, right? And I'll have the heat pad directly on the glass. Now, um, the thing about red tail boys, their humidity is very important. So after I put the glass in, I got the heat pad and all that up. I frame this whole plywood frame out. What we gonna do? I think it's called pond liner. I could be wrong. I'll let y'all know in the next clip if I'm wrong or not. We gonna put some black pond liner in here for all around, right? We gonna put it all up on the plywood. It's gonna be completely black besides the glass, right? So after that, then we put the gravel in. Now this after everything framed up and pretty much ready. But I'm just trying to give y'all a little vision of what I got going on. So let me get, get this to work, get this glass out, trace everything up, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm about to so do. Y'all can see, you know, I put the little square, the outline of the actual glass, but now we gotta trace an inner circle. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, an inner square, my fault. And the, the point for that inner square is the is so when we actually lining up the actual glass, the glass just don't fall straight through. I learned that from my previous enclosures like this one. I had a um I had some enclosures I built before this one. Uh and when you don't actually do it right, the whole thing will break through. Trust me, or it just falls straight through, man. It's crazy. So it's important everything is framed out correctly. You know, and um, and yeah, you won't run into me into uh, any issue. So I'm gonna show y'all what I mean in one second before I get the cut. See, it ain't the most perfect rectangle, but I'm gonna cut from the black all the way around, and then I'll just be able to put the glass on. But we are gonna save that though, cause we are gonna frame everything out first, and then I'm gonna cut all this out so I can make sure everything right. I just wanted to show y'all that. So some people won't be like, yo, you're moving too fast and trying to see what, what you're doing, what your creativity like, and what you got planned. So let me keep moving. Y'all doing this type of stuff, man. Make sure y'all pre-drill y'all holes. Because if you don't, you're going to run into a lot of issues. Make sure y'all pre-drill y'all holes. Because it's important. It makes it easier to screw everything in and nice and tight. And all the way in without breaking anything or making it go in sideways or any of that stuff. Look at that nice frame. Look at that nice frame. Let's keep going though. So look. It ain't perfect, but it's perfect. Like, you know, I traced it out the best way I could, and uh, it fit, you know, so see, this is like literally a thin piece of glass, so I'm gonna have it glass glued all the way around, you know what I'm saying, and so it can have support, it won't fall through, nothing to break, and of course, this would be on the actual table, so it ain't going nowhere, then I had a heat pad like right here, it ain't going nowhere, you feel me, and um, yeah, of course, I'm gonna clean all that. The white little paint ball for me, but just showing y'all what it end up looking like. So that's gonna be like that. Then we're gonna put the black actual pond liner on it. If I'm saying the right time now. Put the pond liner through it, and uh it's gonna cover up all this, everything. It's gonna come from the side, gonna be stapled all the way across, all through here, boom, 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 going all the way across, and then uh about that white cooking food up there, got the alarm going off. But anyway. Um, 
Yeah, so after we do that, we're going to lay the gravel down and all that. Probably going to put some hay in there like I got in my ball python enclosure. So it'll look pretty cool. But yeah, it's going to cover all this up, even the glass. But this is just to contain the heat. Because the heat pad probably the size of the glass anyway. So that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Let y'all know it's 40 inches width, about 6 feet length. A little bit over 6 feet. You know, 6 feet. Uh, 74 inches, you know what I'm saying? So, big enclosure we got here. Big enclosure. So, I'm going to end this video right here and stay tuned to part two. I'm going to wrap it up for y'all. And, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Comment, share, subscribe. If y'all got any more ideas for my, uh, my water monitor that I got coming in real soon, man, like, that's going to be crazy. That enclosure that I'm building, I'm going to show y'all that one next, right after this one. So, stay tuned with me. And uh, yeah, like I said again, comment, share, subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell if y'all want to be notified when I put out new content. This your boy Roz Reptiles. Let's get it.